Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my everyday makeup. This is my go-to makeup look if I were going out visiting my family or if I'm going for a meal. It's not too fancy but not dull neither. It's a good look if you want to keep it looking natural as well. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. So I start off by priming my face with the Revolution Pro Prime and Hydrate and I just rub that all over my face and then I go in with the Revolution Pro Hydrate under eye primer and just rub that underneath my eye area and my eyelids and then I'm taking the Revolution Pro Prime Oil Face Primer and I'm rubbing that all over my face as well and I'm taking the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundations in the colours F13.7 and F14.7. I just take a blob of each and put it on the back of my hand and just mix them in together. And then I just use my finger to dot the foundation over my face. And then I use the Real Techniques buffing brush to blend it out. And I use the remainder of the foundation to put on my neck. I couldn't find my perfect shade, even with the in-between colours, but I do feel like my shade was 13.2, but um, I thought I'd buy the ones that match my skin tone, according to them anyway, better. But um, when I blend them together, it gives me a better look. I'm quite happy with the way it comes out, actually. And then I'm going in with the Conceal and Define Concealer in 13.2. It's a pretty good match to my skin tone. I'm just taking a little bit of that. And I'm taking some of my Fix Spray and my Beauty Blender and I'm just dabbing that under my eye area. I'm just, um, yeah, concealing whatever needs to be concealing under there, I guess. And this concealer is the perfect perfect match for my skin tone um, I couldn't be happier with a concealer that is my actual skin tone and then I'm taking a brighter color concealer um, this is Conceal and Define Concealer by Revolution in 12.5 just to brighten up that area and just use my beauty blender to dab that in the same place where I put the other color and on my eyelids as well and I'm taking the concealer and going down the bridge of my nose to highlight that area as well and then I'm taking the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder in medium and I'm just setting that highlight and yeah I love this powder um, I haven't really tried any high-end setting powders but um, this one is it's better than any setting powder I've tried and it matches my skin tone really well. It doesn't give me flashback and yeah, it doesn't give me a cakey look at all. And everyone always compliments how my under eye area looks as well. So that's a plus two. <laughs> and then I'm taking a MUA eyebrow pencil in the color brunette and I'm just filling in my eyebrows a little bit. I don't do anything too heavy with my eyebrows. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like to do a heavy look with my eyebrows. I like to keep it looking as natural as possible. Um, so yeah, I just go ahead and fill in the bottom and top a little bit. And then I use the spoolie end of the eyebrow pencil and just comb that through a little bit. And then I go ahead and dust off the rest of that setting powder just because I don't want to bake too long. Well, I wouldn't say I baked, but you know what I mean. And then I'm going in with a clear mascara by Collection. Um, I think it was about two or three pounds that paid for that. And I'm just setting my eyebrows with it. Nothing too major at all. There you go, that's my eyebrows done. I'm going in with the eyes now. I'm using an iHeart Revolution palette. It's the nudes one. Can't remember if they're all called nudes, the chocolate palettes, but I'm taking that one that you can see there anyway. And I'm going in with the color in the sheets and I'm just swiping that in the crease of my eye and towards the outside and I'm just blending it into the middle as well, not too much. And 
then I'm going in with the color Pillow Talk and I'm just putting that in the center of my eyelids and towards the inner part of the eye and just um, also blending it in with the previous color and then I'm taking the color in the nude and I'm just putting that in the corners of my eye and that color is a bit too bright so I went back in with some of the Pillow Talk color to tone it down a bit more and then I'm taking the colour Skimpy and just putting that on my brow bone. Pretty much all the brushes that I'm using are Real Techniques and also I'm using a brand from Superdrug. It's the Eco Tools brush set. And then I'm taking the Revolution, how do you even pronounce this? Um, Rena Renaissance, Renaissance Flick Eyeliner. <laughs> and yeah, just um, creating a... Mm, a mini wing, I'll say it's a mini wing. It's not nothing too dramatic. I'm usually pretty bad at doing my eyeliner. I usually make a lot of mistakes, so I was quite happy with the way this um, eyeliner works. Yeah, I was quite pleased with it. I've had different, um, what do you call them? Felt tip liners before, and they've not really been helpful, but the only thing that I'll say with this one is that, um, it's not matte, it has a shiny look to it, but I like a matte eyeliner, I do. But it's fine, it, it still looks nice, I guess. And then I'm taking my eyelash curler and curling my eye lashes a little bit. And then I'm going in with a Rimmel Coal Liner, just lining my waterline. I'm using my beauty blender to pull my eyelid down a little bit because I don't want to touch the area with my fingers. Then I'm going in with Covergirl Queen in Ebony Bronze. And I'm just bronzing my face and just pulling it in the hollows of my cheeks and around my forehead, underneath my nose. And then I'm taking the Sleek Face Contour Kit in Dark. I'm just placing that where I put the bronzer, just to bring some dimension back to my face. Down the side of my nose, underneath my nose, and under my lip, apparently. <laughs> I guess I wanted my lips to look a bit more full. <laughs> and then I'm going in with the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in Rock On World. Yeah, I do like this highlighter. It's not too out there, but you can also build it up to get it out there if that's the look that you like. But um, I always tend to use my Beauty Blender to just dab out the brightness of it because sometimes it's just, you know, a bit too much. So yeah, I'm just dab, dab, dabbing it away. Probably a bit too much to be honest. But anyway, um, moving on. I'm using my Revolution Pro Fixing Spray. I'm just spraying it all over my face. For the lips, I'm using a NYX lip pencil in chestnut. I'm just lining my lips, filling it in a little bit and in the corners of my mouth. And then I'm taking the NYX lingerie liquid lipstick in Teddy and just placing that all over my lip. And then I'm going back in with the lip pencil again and just outlining it, just to give it more depth. Yep, let's take a good look at itself, see if it looks so good and you ain't messed up yet. <laughs> and lastly, I'm taking my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara in Daring Black and I'm just applying two coats of mascara. So yes, carefully, carefully put your mascara on as carefully as possible because sometimes, you know, when you do your whole face of makeup and you get a big blob of mascara on your cheek, it's so annoying. So yeah, um, just applying the mascara, try not to touch your skin. And then I'm taking that old dried out mascara that I had and I'm just trying to comb out my lashes and this is the completed look. As I said before, it's, it's one of my go-to looks. Um, nothing too heavy on the eye. 
I only use three colors on the eye and it's just such a simple and effortless look. So I'm just gonna fix my hair and try to tame my edges a little bit. I like to do my edges after I do my makeup and then dab it out with a wipe because sometimes the makeup gets into the gel and then it turns brown and that doesn't look cute. So I do my baby hairs and then usually I pull it into the shape that I want it in. I just couldn't find my edges brush for this video so I couldn't even show you guys how I do my edges but that would be the next video anyway so that's fine. But yeah, this is this is what I'm working with, and it just felt so great to actually put on makeup. Cause I, I can't remember the last time <laughs> I can't remember the last time I wore makeup. So this was a good day. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you haven't done so already, go check out my Juicy Twist Protective Style video. Those are the twists that I'm wearing in the video. And if you want to see a little bit more about who I am and what my channel's about, you can go and watch my Welcome to My Channel video. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!